Welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. A little while ago, this Dual Triangle Fusion Synchro Xyz event started. And I have had arguably the most fun I've had playing Yu-Gi-Oh! in a very long time. I truly mean that. This event is so much fun to me. A lot of cards have been hit on the ban list. Like, essentially you're just not fighting what you would consider a meta deck, because Branded's super weak in Master Duel. Tier Limits is super weak in Master Duel. Chimera can't use the Branded Engine or the Runic Engine because both of those things are super weak in Master Duel. Everything is hit so well that I've genuinely just had the most fun I've had probably playing Yu-Gi-Oh! ever that isn't against my friends. But like even then, Yu-Gi-Oh! isn't the part there that's fun, it's the fact that I'm interacting with these people that I love. I think this is the most fun I've ever had in my life playing Yu-Gi-Oh! This event has been absolutely amazing for me. And it's funny that I say that, considering I only have 18 points and you get a lot for winning. Even though I've lost a lot of duels, I've had so, so, so much fun. But I have been playing the Xyz version. In this event, whatever group you are playing in, for me playing in the Xyz event, I will only fight against Synchro or Fusion decks. Or if the matchmaking is very, very long for whatever reason, then possibly I can fight an Xyz deck. But nine, actually it's like 99 times out of 100, not nine times out of 10, you're gonna fight a Synchro or Fusion if you're playing Xyz. If you're playing Fusion, you'll fight Synchro or Xyz. If you're playing Synchro, you'll fight Fusion or Xyz. It's that, you can't fight the same one unless the matchmaking is really slow. Uh, I've had a great time. I really, really have. Wow! Oh, that's a hand. Oh, that is in fact a hand. Okay, uh, I'll try my best. Galaxy 100. Yeah, dead card in my hand. Call by the grave. I really want shiny galaxy hundreds, but I don't want to like spend more dust on galaxy eyes because it was already a very expensive deck to build when I built it the first time. And I didn't even build most of the cards because I just didn't build the extra deck. But you know, ah, uh, it's okay. I'll just cry. Jumper to grave. That's going to add a galaxy speller trap from deck to hand, adding galaxy trance. We're going to activate galaxy trance, targeting the jumper and paying 2,000 life points, special wizard from deck, and jumper from graveyard. Overlay these two into galaxy photon dragon. If we were to get imperms at any point in time, a little bit rough, not gonna lie to you, a little bit rough, but uh, it's okay, because we get to add this to hand. Normal summoner, effect is gonna special summon out the wizard. Wizard is gonna activate its effect, tributing it to add a galaxy card from deck to hand. We're gonna add from deck to hand galaxy soldier. Galaxy soldier is gonna activate its effect, sending away the failure to special summon itself, activating its effect to add a galaxy card from deck to hand, and photon dragon is going to change its level, I believe the level four here, I'm pretty sure. Uh, level 8, okay, uh, Galaxy Eyes Afterglow Dragon. I'm not sure why I made it that, but, okay. Overlay this into Star Leech Photon Blast Dragon. This hand, uh, I have nothing playable. I have absolutely nothing on my field. Literally nothing is going to happen. We're fucked. Ice Jade is going to summon out Agreen. We're not fucked because Ice Jade does nothing unless they summon Barone, so we're cool. Ice Jade Cradle. Sure, Moray of Avarice is going to banish one. Draw two cards. Oh my god, Moray of Avarice sucks. <laughs> Uh, Ajiro Cassis, or Chassis. Oof. Ran Agreen, send away the trap for some reason. I didn't read that trap. What did that do? Why did you send this away and not send away the Ajiro Chassis, which I'm pretty sure can equip from the graveyard? What the fuck is wrong with you? Alright, Synchro 10 into Jimmer Agreen. Sure. Uh, activate Ajiro Chassis to equip to that. Yeah, you just made the mistake, but I guess you didn't know, so it's fine. Uh, on center grade, Photon Jumper is going to add a Galaxy spell from deck to hand, so we're going to add Expedition. Uh, probably should have added Trance, but it's fine. Draw for turn. Standby. Main phase. Activate Galaxy Hundred to send one from deck to grave. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. Emperor's uh, Summon itself gives me an unclassified effect to give me an extra normal summon. Hundred is going to summon Photon Dragon from deck. For Expedition, Hundred is going to activate the effect to banish a card from their extra deck. They're going to respond with Jim or Agreen to banish every card with that name on the field. Their cards cannot be destroyed by, uh, by card effects or be banished for the rest of this turn. Summon out Afterglow, overlay these two into number 62, Prime Photon Dragon. Battle phase! Damage step, effect, detach Afterglow, Afterglow effect, special summon dice test, Photon Dragon from deck, and double the attack of all Xyz monsters I control! Or bad Xyz monster. I thought it was all Xyz monsters. I guess not. But I take that. Number 62 is a pretty cool card. Normal summon, special summon from my hand. This was a fine play to make, now that I think about it. Wow! Photon Train! Effect to detach one. 
Send away Jumper. Adding Galaxy Trance to my hand. Activating that effect to add Galaxy 100 to my hand. We're going to activate the effect of Galaxy Brave. Reveal the Photon Dragon to special summon Galaxy Brave. Uh, that right there is going to activate. Sending away Emperor. Emperor is going to summon itself. Unclassified effect before effect resolves. Giving me an extra normal summon of a Galaxy or a Photon Monster. Overlay these two into... Photon Lord. Didn't matter at this point because they could have nibbed me before that got summoned, but it is what it is. Trance, the special wizard from deck, and that from there. Summon into Photon Blast Dragon. Photon Blast Dragon is going to activate its effect on summon to special Photon Dragon from my hand. Then on, on summon, we can use Galaxy Hunter to banish a card from my opponent's extra deck, banishing the Draco Berserker of the Tenny. We do have a Hyper Galaxy on field, though, so that's actually quite nice. At any point in time, we can get rid of Galaxy Photon Dragon, and then we can tribute one of their monsters, summon a Galaxy Ice Photon Dragon from my deck which can then let me banish one more card from their extra deck so I can get rid of that Barone. Harpies! Yep, that thought process was unnecessary. But it's fine. So it's all emergence. That's perfectly fine. Moe. If you normal Moe, we're going to negate that. Normal summon. Reveal it Hara. Okay. Uh, effective Galaxy Ice Photon Lord to detach the Photon Emperor and negate. It won't destroy the Moe because it wasn't a Galaxy card. Potion Emperor is going to activate its effect to special summon itself. Unclassified effect. Long you on. Okay, that's a scary one right there, boy. Okay, sure. Secret turn it to. Baron de Fleur. Now, why would I be worried about Baron de Fleur? I'm not. As simple as that. Activate that effect. We're going to bait out that Baron effect right now, boy. We've already used that negate. Baron's activating an effect to target and destroy a card in the field. However, Star Leech Photon Blast Dragon protects any monster I control with 2,000 or more attack from my opponent's uh, destruction effects, and they cannot be targeted. So, like, good job, you dingus. Destroy your Mo-Yi. But that's pretty cool. Uh, we are in a really good spot. I wanted to bait out the effect to negate with Baron de Fleur by using Photon Lord's effect to uh, add one or attach one. I figured this is a pretty good time to just try and search for one, and then if I can bait this out, I won't have to deal with it on my turn, because they've already done this. And they still won't get destroyed if they use Baron Negate, so I shouldn't have an issue at all. Yeah, worked out perfectly, actually. And in any case, if I were in a really bad spot, I could Special Summon Photon Jumper from my hand during the battle phase. But I don't need to. I'll take that 1,000 damage. Make phase 2, end phase. We do have a rank 8 on field right now, so what's the harm? Photon Orbital to hand is also amazing. We're going to overlay these two into... Number 62. Blue Man! Battle phase, effect, detach the Photon Emperor. Effect is special summon itself out. Wow! Bonk! Thank you. Destroy that. And 2,500. They have 500 life points left. I thought I could kill. I was so used to using Afterglow Dragon that I just assumed it would be a lot of damage on the guy, but it wasn't that much. I didn't get that much. Equip, effect to send away to add from deck to hand my Galaxy Wizard. We're going to normal summon Galaxy Wizard, activating its effect to make uh, tribute to add a card from deck to hand, adding Afterglow Dragon. Overlay our special summon Afterglow Dragon from hand to control a Galaxy monster. Overlay these two into number 39, Hope Harbinger. Oh, that's Utopia, actually. It's 38. That's right. Hope Harbinger. Overlay this even further into number C62, Galaxy Prime Photon Dragon Neo. Hell yeah. Monster Effect Negate, Spell and Trap Negate, I think it's just Spell Negate. Uh, we can divert attacks to this card, which is pretty damn nice. Attaching my Afterglow Dragon, giving this card a bunch of extra damage. And we have this card who's unaffected. Should just win the duel, don't think there's anything they can really play here. But, you know, maybe they have something good. Emergence, uh, let's negate that right there with this guy, actually. I don't really want that Emergence to go through. Then we're going to activate the effect of this guy to add a card or attach to material. We're going to add to hand numbers last hope. And I want to activate this now in the off chance they had a triple attack with Talents or something of the sort. So I'll take that. And phase because they have nothing. Alright, buddy. You draw for turn. Stand by. Main phase. Battle phase. Number C62. Attack. Photon stream of destruction. Yeah. The game froze. This hand is uh, pretty alright. It's okay. Galaxy 100 debate on an Ash Blossom. Oh, we did too. We totally did bait out that Ash Blossom. I probably shouldn't have done that. Because I should have done Galaxy, a Photon Jumper. Special Summon, Photon Vanisher. Gone from there, but that's fine too. Photon Dragon to hand, it will lay further into. Galaxy Photon Dragon. Could you guess? Bet you didn't. 
Effect is going to detach the photon jumper. Oh, Imper. Okay. Okay, that's fine. I definitely think you don't have another interruption in hand at this point because you've used two. Uh, sure, we'll take that. Imperm isn't a once per turn, though, so they could have another. Photon Jumper's going to add Trance. Activate Trance, the special summon that from the grave and from the deck, Galaxy Wizard. Okay. Overlay these two into Starlish. Photon Blast. Dragon. Who is going to activate its effect to summon out from hand? Galaxy Eyes, Photon Dragon. Then I can banish one card from your extra deck. I want to roll Vanish. Ooh, Garura, no super poly for you, bitch boy. Sure. Photon Orbital is going to equip to the Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Then effect of the Equip Spell to send it to the graveyard to add a Galaxy Monster. Adding Galaxy Eyes Afterglow. We're going to Special Afterglow, then overlay into Photon Lord. As you could probably guess, because we've done it every single time. So what do we have right now? We have a little bit of protection. This card is going to go back, giving them their effects again. So we now have monster protection on all of my cards. For, or not monster protection. Targeting protection and destruction protection on all of my monsters. We have a monster negate and an effect failure to negate another monster. We have nothing in graveyard. We can special summon out a galaxy's photon dragon on my turn if I can detach afterglow. So we are in a decent position. Standby main phase. Trail limit scream. Normal Shiren. In fact... Pretty decent mills. Oh, wow. Okay, that actually explains a little bit. I didn't realize that it was Shiren's into the grave when I looked at this, when I played through this. Uh, I had a thought process earlier, but seeing that now makes a little bit more sense. We're just going to negate the Shiren outright. We don't want this to resolve any further. Photon Lord is going to detach the Afterglow, negating the effect. Uh, Afterglow is going to summon out Photon Dragon, allowing me to banish one more card from the extra deck, and we're going to banish Kit Kalos because we don't want that. Grief is going to special one from deck. We're going to attach one in response here just because. Or add one from back to hand, adding numbers last hope. I'm not attaching. I keep forgetting. Uh, summon out Rhino Heart. Rhino Heart gets sent to the grave. Rhino Heart's going to summon itself, sending that away. On summon is going to activate its effect to send one from deck to grave. And Scream is going to activate its effect to add a material mission trap from deck to hand. But I have that Veiler in hand, baby. You ain't doing shit, bitch boy. You're done. You're done, son. You done fucked up, son. You done got nothing, son. You ain't got nothing on me. I'm the best of the world. Okay. Thank you. Ooh, buddy. He got that Nightmare Magician Sleeves. This is not a good hand. I mean, it's playable, but not a good hand. Foolish Burial is going to send from deck to grave our Photon Jumper. Jumper is going to activate its effect, adding from deck to hand Galaxy 100. I think we activate Galaxy 100 here to bait out a hand trap. Uh, sending with Photon Emperor. Emperor is going to activate its effect to special summon itself. It would be an extra normal summon this turn. Activating Trance to special summon the Great Photon Jumper. And from deck, a Galaxy Wizard. But we get Ash Blossom. Ooh, they knew what to hit. That could be really bad. If I didn't open the one up. Normal summon. Effect. Special summon. Effect to detach. The Galaxy Summoner. Adding from deck to hand, Galaxy Wizard. Normal summon. Effect tribute to add from deck to hand, a Galaxy Expedition. Activate Galaxy Expedition, summoning from deck a Galaxy Ice Afterglow Dragon. Overlay these two into Photon Lord. Wouldn't you know? It's a Photon Lord. That's crazy. Photon Lord gives me a search on their turn and a monster negate. We're going to set our Dark Hole so they might think I have something in the back row set up, like a tribute or a Trachyon Transmigration if they know the deck. Oh. Activate Brand of Fusion. Okay. That's Rinbrum right there. Sure, Rimbrum is actually a bit of an issue now, because I can no longer use my monster negate of Photon Lord, because Rimbrum can negate that and then return a card from deck to hand. So I'll have to use my Photon Lord's effect to negate, Rimbrum will have to chain to it to negate my dude, then return it to the hand, and I'll have to chain my effect of Photon Lord, then add a card from deck to hand. So that's an interaction that I wasn't hoping to deal with this turn. Nightmare Magician is the illusion they chose to add. Okay, Mirror Sword Knight effect should be, we're going to use the negate right now. And just go through it. After go detach. Uh, effective Rin Brum is going to activate. Targeting it. Effective Photon Lord to chain to add a card from deck to hand. We'll add Numbers Last Hope. Like I said, this card is one of the best design cards in the game. I love it. It's amazing. Returned it to the hand. That is perfect, actually. You returning that is infinitely better. Uh, I think you probably should have gotten rid of Dark uh, the set card, but we'll take that. But because I have monsters in attack position and I know how strong Chimera the Illusion Beast can be, especially knowing what the evolutions that they have in hand are, I decided to go with Chimera of the Illusion Beast instead, meaning that I can no longer be OTK this turn unless they draw amazingly. They're going to fusion these two off, Lemur Magician and Big Wing Perfumit into... Perfumit, the Mythical King of Phantom Beasts. Chainlink 1 Perfumit, Chainlink 2 gives Big Wing Perfumit to summon out the Nightmare Magician. And wouldn't you know, 
Uh, Burfmit, the mythical king of Phantom Beast, is going to send from deck to grave the guy that just had an animation. Why do you have an animation? Why do you have an animation? Why is that? You're not a cool card, to me specifically. Spring and Skit's going to special summon, adding a card from deck to grave back to hand, putting a card from hand on the top of the deck or bottom? I don't remember. Chimera Fusion to Fusion summon using these two. Okay, what's going on here? Makes sense. Rip one during the end phase. That's a bit rough. I can't say that I wanted that, but I suppose that's fine. Add Chimera Fusion back to hand. Go for battle phase. Effect. Photon Dragon. Galaxy has Photon Dragon during the damage step, or during the battle step specifically, not the damage step. Can banish this card, and if this card battles an opponent's monster, you can target that opponent's monster, banish both this card from the field and that target. So we're going to banish Night Magician and Galaxy has Photon Dragon until the end of the battle step. Mirror Sword Knight's going to negate that. But little did you know, Galaxy's Photon Dragon is not only not a once per turn, it's not even a fucking once per chain effect. It is a once per chain effect. I lied. But hey, cool. Uh, sure. Photon Jumper is going to add me a Spell Trap, adding Galaxy Transform deck to hand. No matter what gets hit here, we're probably fine, unless they have an Ash Blossom in hand, but they probably would have used it on the effect earlier, so I'm assuming they don't have a ga they don't have an Ash Blossom at all. But Photon Jumper is going to add Galaxy Trance. Number's Last Hope is good, so if I can use this, I can summon out the Afterglow and the Photon Dragon that'll probably be in my graveyard, or the Photon Emperor that'll probably be in my graveyard, who knows what's going to happen here. Galaxy Trance can summon the Afterglow and a Photon Dragon from deck. Galaxy Soldier, I can't really do anything with. So this is definitely a preferred hit from the Chimera monster here. But we're fine. In any case, we are fine. Because Galaxy's Photon Dragon is still on the field. And it hits Galaxy Soldier! How perfect! Photon Thrasher is completely useless. Dark Hole! It's no longer useless. Chimera. This was not the right time to chain that, my friend. If you had waited until after Dark Hole resolved, it's very likely you would have won this game. Okay, no, I had a way to get past it. But you could have fusion something as a set Chimera Fusion. Trance is going to target the Photon Emperor. They're going to activate this to banish it to special summon from the Grave Nightmare Magician in attack position and not defense position, which is really stupid. But I, sure, go ahead. Animation! Some people like their favorite cards, and I can completely respect that. If I could summon out a Silo Pisco as frequently as this person is summoning out Nightmare Magician, I would. If I could summon it more than one time a game, I would. Absolutely. I love that card. We're going to banish the one of Guardian Chimera just in case they have the spell or the two monsters in hand. Summon into Photon Lord. Numbers Last Hope is going to summon from the grave Afterglow and Photon Dragon. Bring in the boys back out. Overlays immediately into number 62, Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon. Now we're going to overlay even further, because it's an illusion monster, into number C62, Neo Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon. Battle phase at the start of battle phase will attach the Afterglow, allowing you to make this, make this monster attack up to three times on monsters and summon Afterglow or Photon Dragon from deck and doubling the attack of all exceeds monsters I control. Which is it? Is it Galaxy Eyes Exceeds Monsters? Number Exceeds Monsters! That's why Star Leash didn't increase. Then we can just attack for game outright. Rimbrum is going to special summon out Fallen of Albaz. Sure. Uh, it didn't matter. I just decided it'd be funny to make them discard stuff, but it didn't matter at this point because this card's unaffected by card effects, so he can't use with this with this guy. But maybe he goes into Mirror Jade and then, I don't know, he still can't banish this, but I guess he could banish this and put Mirror Jade in defense position, which could actually have, that could have saved him the game, actually. Me negating the Albaz here was in fact the correct play, and not just like the BM move to do. Sure. When we'll I get the Albaz, it won't destroy it because it wasn't a Galaxy card sent. Photon Emperor is going to special itself, giving me Hope Harbinger during the main phase 2. And we can just attack, but they surrendered! Come on, brother! You didn't want to let me hit you for 9,000 damage? It's only 9,000 damage! A little bit more, even, but it could have been 9,000 beautiful damage! Why don't you want to take that? That would have been so cool, man! You're not very nice, Lenvor Rage! Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you've all had a wonderful day, and I hope you all enjoyed. If you haven't had a wonderful day, there's always the rest of your day, there's always tomorrow, the day after that, so on and so forth. Things don't get better unless you let them, so give yourself time and things will improve. I promise. Take care of yourselves, everybody.